Hello boys and girls. So today you are either going to be asked to look for the biggest number out of a group of numbers or the smallest number out of a group of numbers. And there's two ways that we can do this. The first way is by looking at the tens and the ones without using a number square. And the second way is by using a number square. So I'm going to show you both ways of doing this today and you can just choose your favourite way to find the answers. Okay. So, here I've got three numbers for question one. I've got 41, 37, and 16. Now, this method uses the tens and the ones. So, I'm just going to put it above all my tens. Now, remember, my, t my tens are the first digit. And then I'm going to put my up over the ones to remind me that the ones are the second digit. And when we're trying to find the biggest number, we focus on the tens first. So I'm just going to underline all the tens in those numbers. Now I'm looking for the biggest ten. Is it four tens, three tens, or one ten? Well, I know that four is bigger than three and one, so four tens must be bigger than three tens and one ten. So 41 is the biggest number, so I'm going to circle 41. Right, let's have a look at another one. I've got three new numbers for question two. I've got 22, 21, and 29. So I'm going to put my tens and ones above. Okay, let's have a look at the tens. Now, all the tens are the same. They're all two tens. So I can't see which one is the biggest, and that's going to be a problem. So what I need to do is I then move and have a look at the ones. So I'll just circle those ones for us. Now the ones are all different, which is great because that means that I'm going to be able to find the biggest one. I've got two, one and nine. And I know that nine is the biggest number. So 29 is bigger than 21 and 22. So I can circle 29 as my biggest number this time. What about if I'm trying to find the smallest number? Question three wants me to find the smallest number. So I'm gonna find my tens and ones again. Okay, and underline them. I've got three tens, one ten, and four tens. I'm not looking for the biggest number this time, I'm looking for the smallest number. So have a think, which number is smaller? Three, one, or four? And we know that it's number one, so 11 is the smallest number. It's exactly the same again if your tens are the same. Let me underline those tens. So I've got four tens in all of these numbers, so that is no use to me. So I'm going to have a look at the ones instead. And this time, remember, I'm looking for the smallest number. I've got six ones, four ones, and one one. And once again, that number one is the smallest number. So I'm going to circle that one. 41 is smaller than 44 and 46. Now, it's very similar if you're using a number square. So this question asks me to find which is the biggest number out of, whoops, out of 10, 26, and 48. So I've just circled them on my number square. Now the biggest number on your number square is at the bottom of the number square. So here, I've got 48 as near as the bottom. So I would circle 48 as my answer because it's the biggest number. If I was looking for the smallest number, I'm going to look for the number nearest the top of the number square. The number nearest the top of the number square is number 10. So if I was looking for the smallest number, that would be number 10. The biggest number is 48, the smallest number is number 10. Let's have a look at one more. Now this one wants me to find the biggest number out of 22, 25 and 27. So I've circled them on my number square again. However, I can't see which one's nearest the bottom to find the biggest number because they're all on the same row. 
Now remember, when we're counting forwards and the numbers are getting bigger, we go from left to right, we go this way. Now 27 is the number furthest along the row, so that is the biggest number this time. So 27 is the biggest number out of these three because it's the furthest along the row. If I was looking for the smallest number, I look for the number nearest the start of the row, nearest the beginning of the row, and that one is 22. 22 is nearest the beginning of the row, so that is the smallest number. So you can either use your tens and ones to find the answer, or you can use your number square. Choose your favourite method to do your home learning today. Good luck.